Okay, hi guys. So I got requests to do uh, worksheet C28, C29, C27, and C26. So I'm going to start off with C28 and I'm going to make four different videos. So I'm going to do one for C28, one for the next one, and one for the next one. Okay, so let's get started. This one, it's asking us to find and reduce these fractions. So the first one is six over nine. So it's asking us to reduce. So I want you to have your notebook out if you did not understand how to do this one. So reduction of fractions, in order to reduce, We must find factors. And so I have this fraction, six over nine. And more important, they have to be common factors. So I should really have written in common factors. Okay, so those, remember when I, we talked about and we took our notes on um, lowest common multiple and greatest common factor. Factors are numbers that go into, right? So we have to find numbers that go into six and nine. So there's a couple ways to go about it, but I'm gonna go talk about just finding the factors. One times six, two times three, and that's it on that one. One times nine, three times three, and that's it on that one. And so after that, I wanna find common. So things that are common. So I'm gonna look over here. Obviously one would always be in common, but there's one more number that's in common. And if you notice, three is in both of them. So what I wanna do is take these numbers and divide into them. Divide by three. So really we're dividing, if you notice it, we're dividing by three over three, which equals one, right? And if I remember, Five divided by one gives me five. Six divided by one gives me six. A thousand one hundred divided by one gives me a thousand one hundred. So it's really not changing the value of it. Rather, you're reducing a fraction. So six divided by three is two over three. So I'm going to write two over three on my worksheet. And I'm gonna go to and find its B. So now if I wanna do two over 10, I can do, I can see right away that anything that ends with a, and I want you to say it to yourself, if it ends with a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight, it's divisible by two. There's a all divisible by two, right? So I'm gonna divide by two, and I'm gonna give myself one over five. Because two divided by two is one, 10 divided by two is five. So I'm gonna go back to my worksheet. I'm gonna write one over five. I look over here, and it's out. And I'm going to do 20 divided by 35. And these are a little bit more bigger numbers. So I'm going to do 20 and 35. I can also prime factor, right? So if I go into 22 numbers and multiply to be 20, 20 or 10 and 2, 2 is prime, circle that. Two numbers that multiply to be 10 is 5 and 2. Circle, circle, prime, prime. And here, seven and five, prime, prime. And now, anything that's common goes inside. 
five is common. Anything else? Nope. This line is greatest common. Oops. Greatest common factor. This line is lowest common multiple, but I don't need to do that. I just want greatest common factor, which is five. So now I can take my numbers and divide by five. So 20 divided by five is four. 35 divided by five is seven. Four over seven. So I'm gonna go back to my worksheet. I'm gonna put four over seven, and it's gonna be me. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one, which is two over 16. And right away, you should know if it ends with a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight, it's divisible by two. So I could divide this by two and this by two. And I would get one over eight. Let's try the next one. 15 over 18. Okay, I'm going to try doing my number sets. 1 times 15, 2, no, but 3, yes. 4, no, and we already have 5, so I stop there. I think that's it. So now I can go into it and look at comments. I know this is a common, and it's going to be a common for the rest of the number sets. Always one. Three is a common. But that's it, right? Unless I'm not seeing something. Okay, so now I know I can divide by three on each one. And I have five over six. I'm going to go back to my worksheet and go into 5 over 6. Ah, look at this. This one's a base 10 numbers. So I can reduce by dividing by 10 and taking those two zeros out right away. So 5 6 is O. 2 9 is F. 1A. Is 1A down there? It's not. Why is 1A not on there? Hmm. Y'all, it's three or four. It, this is the answer, but I don't know why someone super post a image of a two. It should have been the only one that would make sense would be this H. I think we're going to fall in the same thing down here with the 75 over 100. Or maybe not. No, that one is here. Okay. Someone just put a two on top of that. Okay. So 25 over 75, I can see, I can, divide, I think about, when I see 25s, 50, 75, a dollar, 125, 125s to 150, I automatically think of money. And I know 25 can go into both of them. 25 can go into 25 once, 75, 25 can go into 75 three times. That's one third. Maybe R. Okay, guys, so I want you to continue and practice these. And at the very end, you should come up with the puzzle. And I'm not going to tell you, actually, I might. Give me a second.
Okay, guys, so I'm going to ask you to stop and pause if you have not completed the worksheet. So you're going to stop and pause if you have not completed the worksheet. So what you're going to, how you're going to solve this riddle is every time you write one down, you cross it off, and at the end, you're left with one letter. And so at the very end, so you, one would be E, so you would go down to one and write down E. So I want, again, if you have not finished it, I'll give you this moment just to go ahead and pause your video because I'm going to show you the answer of the riddle. So it kind of shows you the answers already. Okay. So the answer is the tape deck. And I'm going to go ahead and go over these answers as well. So I look at 12 and 32, and I right away, actually on this one, I notice that two can go into both of these numbers. And if it brings up a good topic. So six and then 32, two can go into 32 16 times. But I notice that I can also go into six and 16. So if I see that I can keep dividing, I can keep going until it's absolutely the lowest common and it's going to be three eighths, one third, and this one, seven, right? Ten and twenty-four, because if it ends with the two, a zero, two, a four, a six, an eight, or did I say zero already? Yeah. Five twelves. Ooh, is that one? No, three. I'm going to say that. Looks like it's already primes, but it's not. Sneaky, sneaky. Five ninths, base tenths, divided by five. Divide that by two. If I divide that by 12, so two thirds, four fifteens, and one eighth. Divided by six. Mm, that one. Let me go to this one because that one's more easy for me. Divide it by two, three over four. Three fourths, two fifths, and 21. Only three. Three can go into both of them. Seven over 12. Again, for most of us, we're going to have to do the work attached to it, what we've been doing, either doing prime factorization on some of them, this, or going through and finding order um, factors of them, and finding the common factor through this way. We're going to have to do that, but I'm going pretty fast because math is my game. I love it. So 7 over 10, this one. 25 can go into 25 ones, 25 can go into 104, 8, 2, 3, 1, 4, 7, 10. And then this one divided by 2, divide this by 2. And I think you can still keep going on that one. Divide this by 2, yep. And so it's going to be 2 or 7. One six. And this one I can divide it by five. Nine over twenty. This one again, like money, three over four because you can divide it by twenty-five. On this one, you can divide it by four. Two over nine. 
on this one, you can divide it by 7, 7, 14, 21, nope, by 3, 3, yep, by 3, 7, 8. By this one, I'm dividing by 9, and then I'm dividing by 2. By this one, I'm starting off by dividing by, would 5 be the most reasonable? I think so. Divide that by 5. On this one, I'm dividing by 3, or by 30, which would give me 4 over 5. And one fifth, one half. So the purpose of this is not to copy answers, it's for you to really try and say, I'm stuck on this one, let me see how she did it. Okay, so I, I, I plead to you, please, please, please make sure you're working on it with me or you're trying it, the best thing is to try it before and then see, okay, did I get it right? Did I do the right multiples? Did I do the right factors? Not just copy. Okay, 40 is what fraction of an hour? 40 is over 60, which would two over three. Three inches is what fraction of a foot? Three over 12. Three inches over 12 inches is one over four. 10 ounces is what fraction of a pound? 10 over 16. Divided by two. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, guys, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Let me know if you have any questions on this through email, classroom, whatever it is, dojo, if your parents have dojo, I'm posting this on classroom, I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm posting this on um, dojo. So any of those ways to get in contact, email, whatever it is, if you really truly are like not understanding, we'll try doing some more problems and see if you're understanding the other way. Okay, I'll see you soon.